Okay, everybody, I'm going to try to shoot a video for you guys to show you how to use Blender to Boolean things out. This is an older version of Blender, but it works the same in, in all versions, okay? When you open up Blender, you get this splash screen. If you go in the middle of the screen somewhere and click, that will go away. To select things in Blender, you use the right mouse button. So I'm going to go over here to the camera and with the right mouse button click, select this camera. Now with the keyboard I'm going to erase it. I'm going to delete it with the keyboard delete. That the, the, the square comes up asking you to delete it. You just say OK. You can also hit the X button once you've selected something. If I select this and if I hit the X button, the same thing happens. So X and delete are the same. Now we're going to cut a hole in this box. So I can show you booleaning, boolean. And a boolean is how you make really complicated shapes by nibbling parts out or adding parts out or taking two parts and getting the cross section of the two. So we have our cylinder. I'm going to go over here to the right side of the screen. And there's all of these tabs on this side. The second one down is the create tab. Halfway down is the cylinder. We want a cylinder. So once I click on it, it appears in the center of the screen. Now selecting things is with the right mouse button, but once it's selected with the left mouse button, if you click on the arrows, you can move them. So we're going to move the cylinder in the Z. Now I want to change the dimension of the cylinder, so I'm going to use a, short, a keyboard shortcut S. You'll notice a black line jumped out to the cursor. If I just take the mouse without holding any buttons and move it, you'll see the cylinder change shape. With it selected, with everything there, I'm going to hit 0.5 on the keyboard to, to just automatically snap it to that dimension. And I'm going to hit Enter. I'm going to scale one more time. I'm going to hit the S, and then I'm going to hit the Z key, and you'll see the, the, the uh, a line appear in the Z. Now if I type something like 5, it moves it it, 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 it expands it 5 of whatever increment we have set. I'm going to hit the enter key and, and everything is set. So now I'm going to go with the left mouse button and grab the blue arrow and move the cylinder down. And now we're going to go get our boolean functions. Over here on the right if you move the mouse across this border, you'll see it change to a, a double-sided arrow. Hold that, hold that down with the left mouse button and drag it to the left, and you'll see it expands this, this palette. On this second bar right here, halfway over, is a wrench. If you click on the wrench, it will open the, the uh, Add Modifier tab. We're going to go over here and click on the on the box to make sure it's selected on the cube because we're going to cut the hole out of the cube. So then we're going to go over here to the add modifier and open it. The second uh, row down, the third line is boolean. So we're, we're going to click on that modifier. Our box is selected. Over here in the operations is intersection. We want it to be the difference. We're going to make it. We're going to make that cylinder have a, you know, make a difference up in the box. We're going to go over here to where object is and select the object, which is the cylinder, and apply it. And there is now a hole in the box. If I right-click on this green arrow and move the box, you'll see the hole. To rotate the the scene around, you use the center mouse button on your mouse, in this case mine's a wheel, press it down and roll the mouse around and you'll be able to see. So what makes this important is that it left the walls on the inside. It didn't treat the box like an empty box. So if I 3D print this, it does the, the hole that's in it is the hole I made not some weird holes that were created by the software that may or may not print. That does happen from time to time. Okay, I'll show you again how, uh, how Boolean works. I'm going to rotate the camera around here. I'm going to select the cylinder and put the cylinder somewhat inside the box. 
I'm going to, the cylinder is selected, so I'm going to go to add modifier. I'll go down here to Boolean, difference, the object, which is now the cube, and now you'll see there's a slot cut in the cylinder. Whoops, I didn't say, I, I forgot to tell it what to do. It's selected, the difference, the cube, and apply. So now there's a, a slot in it. So let's look at what happens if we use intersection. So let's put this here. And now we'll take this chunk where the two are added. So the cylinder is selected, add, mo add modifier, Boolean. Operation is intersection this time. Select the cube and apply it, and that's what you have, Boolean.